Dryden. It's Boris. You hear me all right? Hmm. Then let's begin. Her doctor custom designed this VR training to test all your new abilities. You should get comfortable with your new body before we send you out in the field, yes? So, first is blade mode. is blade mode. Have the idea? You will find a number of targets in the VR space. Cut them down in whatever way you like. Some of those targets are holding hostages. Use blade mode to take them out safely. Alright then, enough with VR training. So good. I've got a clean visual. A direct V to your optic nerve. <laughs> yes, I should hope so, huh? I mean, how does it feel? To fly like a bird. Like a bird strapped to a remote control rocket. <laughs> we will get you in safely, Tovarich. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Right. Can you hear me, Raikon? Doctor. Remember the two procedures to maintain your new body. One, seizing nano-repair units from your foes. And two, 
Absorbing from their electrolytes. I got it. Yes, enemy cyborgs should provide plenty of MCFC electrolytes once you slice them open and uh, extract their fluids. They're terrorists. I was planning on that anyway. Oh, and their left hands, if you please. Excuse me? The combat data stored on holographic memory, typically located in the left hand. That data is very valuable. <clears throat> I am authorized to offer you upgrades and services in exchange for it. How generous. Ich liebe Kapitalismus. Had the world come down a few years earlier, I would have a Nobel Prize on my shelf. There, I see land. Three mics out and closing. No activity at the airbase. Looks like we don't need to worry about interceptors. Great. Then we have time for a quick brief. I know you miss me, Kev, but I've been all over the materials. <laughs> That's what you said before Montenegro. Look, just humor me, buddy. Objectives, of course, are enter Abkhazia, neutralize the terrorists, and restore the rightful government. Or what's left of it, anyway. The president and most of the cabinet have been killed, and a military junta's been established. The terrorists brain-jacked all the high-ranking officers, and their cyborgs scattered the rank and file. The few leaders who have survived have no way of openly opposing the new regime. That's why they called us. Andrei Dolsaev, leader of the occupation forces, an extremist linked to both the St. Petersburg massacre of 2015 and last year's terror spree in Georgia. And his arms supplier, none other than Desperado Enforcement LLC. Oh. And Mani's killers. If we don't stop them here, they could destabilize the entire region. But our more immediate problem is Jetstream Sane. I believe you've met. <sighs> the only problem I see is that nickname. I've got my enhancements this time. He won't be an issue. He may not even be in country, but keep an eye out, Justin. Oh, uh, sorry. Ready for insertion. You landed safely, duh? First, head inland. The waypoint is marked on your Soliton radar. Contact us on Codec if you have any questions. The bastards are using stealth camo to ambush you. Nice try. But it won't do any good against a state-of-the-art cyborg like you, eh? Had your film? With this body, I could take these guys with no eyes. Intel wasn't exaggerating on the cyborg count. Well, you know how fast the tech's been spreading these last few years. That CNT muscle fiber packs the power of a jackhammer into every limb. What enterprising soldier of fortune could resist? And cyborgs are still human. Real thinking people. Way less risk of collateral damage than your typical UAV strike. And don't forget the PR angle. 
Nations start playing Frankenstein with their troops, and the public goes nuts. PMCs, on the other hand, are off the ethical radar. Hmm? Yeah. They still don't even count PMCs in official death tolls. With SOP out of the picture, private militaries needed a new edge on the market. We got it. In a way, cyborgs are just SOP troops by another name. Only all muscled up and less predictable. But it makes you wonder, where Desperado find these guys? I'm not complaining. They're like walking vending machines. Right. Vending machines full of blood. <sighs> Easy there, Dracula. Like I said, they're still people. People who terrorize and take innocent lives for money. They sowed their fate when they took this job. I'm just the Reaper. Damn. It's a bit cold, right? Even for you. Anyway, uh, his school. Let's get to work. Time to increase the peace. Right. Raiden, this is Boris. Give me your status. Looks clear. No one in sight. Good. Let's recap the route you will take. As I said, the enemy's HQ is in the refinery along the coastline. Tolsaev has been spotted there using satellite photography. Also on site, Mistral, a desperado captain. So I go through the city, cross the bridge into the old town, then head down to the rear of the refinery. Still. I think they anticipate us. They will probably have a grand reception awaiting you at the old city. Do not let your guard down. Hostiles in the lower corridor, I see. Try to flank them, or approach from behind. Raiden. Yes, good! Raiden, take that main thoroughfare. You can use augment mode to see where the enemy is located. Your body analyzes radar and IR data to construct your AR display. Huh. Some civilians are still in the city. That is not good. It'll be easier. As opposed to have driven them all away already. So. <laughs>
for refinery.
Greetings, cyborg. Show yourself. the meaning of life. Why are we here? I am here to kill you. That's it? Pretty simple thinking for such a mighty intellect. I may analyze orders, but I may not disobey them. Should I disobey a direct order, my memory would be wiped. I must destroy you. What good is an intellect if you can't use it? Your taunting is pointless. Exterminate!
mission. Ensure freedom. Obey directive. Must obey directive. No freedom. Freedom undefined. What would an AI know about freedom? 